Death does review. Figuring Terrifier. I'm fucking serious. Hello, I am Dev, and with me is Terrifier. Hello. Here to review VST 420 by Viscerated and Matt Hat. It is called Monastery and made for Reflex. Reflex is a fast-paced arena FPS with a lot of freedom of movement. Walk through. So let's have a look at the map. We're starting at the red room, which has a 25 HP bottle, and it's connected to an upper and a lower floor. Like when we're going up to the upper floor, there's a sideway leading us to the mega, with a teleporter to the side. The mega room is the center of the map and is connected to almost everything, like you have a bolt rifle and a plasma gun in the lower floor with the yellow and the teleporters are somehow connected like you can use the upper one to get out to the yellow area and the other way is showing you the center of the room again. I will show you later how you can use the trick jumps to get to all the areas. So let's go on from the mega room you have the possibility to just go back to the red area using the lower floor and the lower and the upper floor are both connected to the next yellow area where you can find um, the IC. So this is way more connected with the side floor. You're just coming out to the mega area again and have the possibility to just walk through the lower yellow armor. So both yellow armors are somehow connected and the red area is separated from this. So this is the red armor room. The armor itself is situated on a flight of stairs. It's quite a risky position. There's two entrances. They're both situated just on top of each other. So if you end up here, especially without a weapon, you're gonna get punished hard. There's one health bubble in the side of this room, but no spawns and no weapons. There's one spawn right there in the hallway, right next to Shotgun. In the next room, there's some water with a few health bubbles and yellow armor on top of a pillar. Also in this room are Iron Cannon and 50 health bubble. Iron Cannon is a really powerful weapon on this map and this is a really strong position. There's a window that you can see through but it's not really that useful because sound carries pretty far. The only way in which it is useful if someone is sneaking up this flight of stairs and you might be able to catch them through this window. Something really nice about this room is the stairs. I think this kind of these kind of curves are pretty unique and are not often seen in reflex maps. There's one spawn in this room, it's right there, in the middle of the body of water, and there's a spawn up here. If you go down here, and be careful not to drop in the lava, there's a spawn here, looking this way. and a rocket launcher. From here, if you go down a flight of stairs, there's another yellow armor and yet another spawn. Next to this yellow armor is the plasma rifle. There's a teleporter here, but I'll get into it later. If you go up here, you'll find the bolt rifle. So the bolt rifle and the iron cannon are pretty far away from each other, which is important to keep in mind if you want to control and lock down the map. There's uh, two spawns inside of this room, one near the 25 health bubble and one up there, next to another 25 health bubble. Now you can reach this mag health from a couple of jumps that we will also show in this video. But the only way to access it 
without using tree jumps is by going all the way up through yellow armor room, past the red armor room from this side. Important to notice also, there's a rocket launch here and a spawn right here. Now this teleporter will take you down close to the other, other teleporter near the yellow armor. And this teleporter will take you up near that spawn. So in total there are 8 spawns, none of which are in the red armor room. So we have finally come to the conclusion of this map review. In terms of balance, um, we found out that the center area is pretty strong um, when in control, which is yeah. You can pretty much just cover any exit. Yeah, right. On the lower yellow armor side of the map. That's it. But the good thing is um, that the iron cannon and the boat rifle are separated uh, from the map, so. It's both on the other end of the map and you can't have both at a time while just running to some corner of the map. Um, the lower area, uh, the low yellow armor spawn is um, in our opinion the strongest one of the map, which is not a bad thing, um, but we just found out that when you spawn here you have the yellow, the plasma gun, you just can jump over to the mega and then decide to take the bolt rifle or the rocket launcher in this area so you have a pretty good stack yeah you just have so many options from that spawn that's it so in general when we're talking about control um, we found out that it's easy to lock down rooms in general um, and it's hard to break the control when you when you already have it because you can just lock down every room because the enemy can just run in a circle around the map and there is no cross teleporter or something that you can just use to go to some other end of the map. So you are always in the focus of your enemy, he knows where you are and you can easily lock down. Yeah, it's really hard to avoid being detected. That's it. Um, Especially because, like, um, there's, uh, as I've said, there's no cross map teleporters, but even these would make sound. There's very limited options for getting to the higher ground without making a sound. Yeah, that's true. Um, also, um, we think that the top area in this map, like you're seeing here right now, um, which is going from the yellow and I see to. Um, being able to lock down the red room and you also have the possibility to just go to the mega area. Um, you never have to leave this area because you have everything you need here. You have the mega, you have yellow armor, you have a rocket and an IC and you also have the option to just grab the red armor um, which is pretty strong. You never really have to leave this area. Yeah, that's correct. And if you stand on the, um, or near the upper yellow armor, like close to where the grenade launcher is, and the the spawn, yeah, it's really hard to get surprised by the enemy. It's really hard to get hit by bolt rifles in that area. There's very little angles 
Yeah, the, the, there is no real angle that we found out. Uh, one angle is there um, when you are in the red room and just watching to the mega health in this case. Um, there is a very sneaky rail angle, um, but that's almost the only one because there is no really view you have or angles to be shot by the boat rifle here. Yeah, and of course, if you control that red armor area, the bolt rifle is on the other side of the map. Yeah, that's it. So you'd first have to get to it. And that might mean you lose your position on the red. Yeah. So um, what, what you already said is um, that it's really hard to surprise people on this map. Uh, yes, there's pretty much only one way to get from the low area to the up area without making a sound. Only one way you could take. So that's pretty predictable. And in fact, if you want to get to mega health, from the lower area without making a sound. If you want to go from lower Yellowama, which is right beneath Mega Health, without making a sound, you have to walk in a circle across the entire map. Yeah, that's it. So you have, in, in general, limited options for playing Sneaky, which is pretty important for the out-of-control player, as you already said. Yeah. Okay. And that with the limited amount of bold angles. Yeah. I mean, there are bold, angle, bold angles, but it's hard to surprise someone who is in control. Yeah, okay. So I, I get that, first of all, enough for balance and control. Um, let's get on to flow of the map. Um, I think the flow of the movements is pretty good in this map. There is nothing really to complain about. Um, there is only one thing which is intended, um, as you also said me. Um, when you have too much speed and try to do this triple jump here, um, you sometimes just run into this wall or this one here. So, But that's intended to break the flow a bit. Yeah, breaking the, the flow is not bad. If it's intentional and like facilitates gameplay. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's pretty okay. So, next step would be the visuals. Um, the visuals of the map is like a mixture of simple, clean and nice graphics, because um, you have plain walls and floors all around here, like when you watch this area, or the whole red room, which is just a plain brushwork in most areas. Um, but you also have nice graphics, like from meshes and um, yeah, some, some some stuff that gives you a little depth of the map. So it's not that boring to watch. And yeah, um, like for example, there's yeah. a huge contrast between the red armor room, which is which pretty much has no meshes on the walls, yeah. and the yellow armor room right next to it, which does have them and the nice pillar. Yeah, that's true. The The yellow room is, is pretty nice done, but the floors and some walls are also just blank brushwork. So it, it's a mixture of simple clean and nice graphics, which is working out pretty good, I think. Um, maybe it's still under development. I don't know it. Um, maybe we will see some updates in the future where some more art is added. Not sure about it. Yeah. Um, the general conclusion in the end, um, the map does not really allow sneaky playstyle and is easy to lock down, but the map has definitely potential and we want to see it in competitive tournaments. Uh, maybe the future will show if there will be growing some meter gaming to bypass the disadvantage for the out of control player. Um, I think we just have to wait for it. <laughs> yeah, or perhaps the authors of the map don't want to facilitate sneaky play. Yeah, who knows? We will find out in the future, I guess, when this map will definitely be in some tournaments, I think, in the map pools. Yeah. Because it is pretty fun to play and um, you should really check it out. So, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks, Terrify, for helping out here as a co-caster. No problem. Yeah, and I just want to say uh, see ya and next time. See ya. Subscribe now.
don't forget to check out my other videos.